You know, when we could just walk to the library, it's just over there. Are you insane, woman? Walk with our legs, son. Oh, excuse me, what was I thinking? <laughs> Heaven forbid you should sweat. Well, not in this DKNY blouse, woman. Uh, Wendy, when did you say you passed your driving? Last week. Why? Uh, I think <clears throat> I didn't like my lunch that much anyway. Eh, hey, hello. We passed at the Ubi Test Centre. Best pass rate in Kampong Ubi and Bukit Batok, okay? These continental cars just take a little getting used to. Everything's backwards. But this is a Japanese car. <laughs> Let's listen to the radio. Echo? Oh, oh, oh. Has it light? Uh, 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 My nose! I think it's broken. Uh, I could be the next Chu Chao Ming. I could be the next Star Search winner. Now my chances are all gone! Oh no, we hit a drama student. Oh, he's a law student. Isn't he from the litigation class? I'm gonna sue you! Bruce. Yep. Who taught you how to drive? Stevie Wonder. Hey, you crossed the road without looking, okay? Technically, she is right. You are watching the road! Technically, he's right too. Hey, look! I don't care, okay? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm gonna sue you for assault! Technically, that's battery. Assault is when <gasps> you Shut up! Technically, you're hurt because he pushed you into the Lenin Post! I... I panic! Look, if I saw two women drivers coming down the road, I'll panic too! Oh! It's the most sexist thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Hello? Does nobody care that I've been mortally wounded? Uh, As if anyone can tell the difference! No. Let's go, Wendy. Uh, I'll sue you in court! Of course! Our next class is in a moot court! This is all my fault. I've been neglecting my health, and I, 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 I'm... Oh, oh, I've been working too hard. There's just so much work to do in a mini month, and my health food promotion is not doing very well. But how can you sell health food when you're so unhealthy? You're right. I've been setting a bad example for my customers. Don't worry. I'll make you some black chicken soup. It's hey, very healthy. You never see chicken sneeze, right? I should be a bastion of good health. Yet here I am, a snot-filled bag of germs. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's okay. You get well soon. No, it's not okay. I've even been skipping my daily portion of oats and muesli. Does regular bowel movement mean nothing to me anymore? Hi, Mom. Michael and I are going to the market. Oh, good. Uh, give me some black chicken. I want to cook chicken soup for Paul. Uh, no, Mom. The market is the name of a new club at Shenton Way. They named it after the stock market. <laughs> cool, huh? Oh. So no black chicken, ah? Uh? No. Nothing but the coolest and the hippest yuppies. Even the babes are professional. They don't just let anyone in there, you know. So why would they let you in? Hey, I'm a yuppie now. My BM has arrived. And I've got my... Mont Blanc pen to prove it. <laughs> I had a pen like that once. A bird pooed on it. Anyway, you're talking to Mr. Happening here. I used to attend all the jam and hops at NUS, you know. Hey, they didn't call me the King of Kenridge Hill for nothing. Hey, no, 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 no. You called yourself the King of Kenridge Hill. They called you the Bozo of Bizan. Hey, see Ronnie? I 
told you this club was exclusive. Only doctors, lawyers, accountants. Accountants? She can do my taxes anytime. <laughs> Man, this queue is too long. Let's try something. Follow me. Hi! Hey, uh, we're friends of the bartenders. Uh, Jam! Jam! Sam. No cutting you! No, 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 for real! Hey, we know the bartender. We've got a connections. You cut you, I cut you. <laughs> hey, buddy, uh, maybe uh, this will help you to change your mind? Huh? Huh? No jeans allowed. <laughs> what if I took off my jeans? Huh? Ronnie, have you got another pair of hands? No. Then? Oh. Hey, get lost, kids. You can try to find Dazzle down the road. Hey, you can't do this to me. I used to be the king of Cambridge Hill, you know? Yeah. Isn't he the bozo from Bizet? What? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes? Good evening, sir. Huh? How are you today? Are you feeling bored? Now I'm here, you'll never be bought again. Because why? Because I have magazines. <laughs> I'm Robertson. My card, handphone and pager number all inside. Huh? <laughs> Good evening, sir. How are you today? Are you feeling bored? Now I'm here. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I heard you the first time. Thank you. <laughs> all the magazines you want, we have. All the ones you don't want, we also have. Because why? Because you won't know what you want until you see it. Correct? Ah, correct. <laughs> See? Lifestyles of the rich and famous. Our best seller. Because why? Because you can improve your life by reading other people's lives. Uh, what about this one? Lifestyles of the poor and the pious. Ah, this one also popular. Because why? Because it is because about... It's all about people who want to live simple, clean and healthy lives. That's right. Perfect. I'll take it. Thank you, sir. You won't regret it. Because why? Because by living a simple, clean and healthy life, you can have a better... <laughs> Out of a nightclub? Oh, must be a place with good taste. <laughs> We're going back there to show that Bowser that he can't push us around like a couple of kids. And what are you going to do? Bring mommy along? <laughs> Ronnie, you want me to talk to that bad man? I tell him he cannot bully you. <laughs> no thanks, Mom. It was just uh, an error in judgment. You gotta understand that we yuppies have a, a sophisticated upmarket shape. <laughs> we yuppies? So you think you're a brand name wearing, handphone toting, fake accented, materialistic, superficial yuppie? Is there another kind? Everyone, I have an announcement to make. I've decided to embrace a new lifestyle and change my image. Oh. From boring to, uh, even more boring? <laughs> my life is too stressful, that's why I got sick. I should lead a simpler and more frugal life. Oh, you mean life in the slowly? That's right. No more excesses. Starting with this. Paul, were you inspired by the government's Healthy Heart, Healthy Life campaign? No. I was inspired by a group of individuals who are the epitome of good health and clean living. Monks. Guy Bruce is so rude and tickless. When he almost ran him over. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, get hit the bricks at all. <laughs> oh, I hear he's in the NUS drama company. Oh, no wonder. All these drama people are all the same. All damn drama. Can you believe that Wendy? I never thought I'd meet anyone so full of self. Hmm. Meat. She gets a just desserts. Cow. Yeah. Are you hungry? Dennis, are you listening to me? Yeah. You said meat, full, desserts, cow. Let's go eat. I also heard Dennis is the NUS high jump champion. Oh, well, he looks like a sportsman. Tall, dark, sweaty. Notice how argumentative Bruce is in class. Can't do type. Must be a Raffles student. Yeah. I hope Denise is like a model student. You know the type lah? Margaret Toad. Must be from Raffles Girls School. So, do you know who your partner is for a mock trial? No. Let's see. Let's see who my partner is for the mock trial. What do you get? <laughs> what? Bruce! Denise! <laughs> 
got the suit. We got the handphones. And we got the BMW keychain. We're yuppies. Yep. And they gotta let us in now. Hey, we are yuppies. They let us in. We got into the most happening club in town. They like us. We're cool. We're cool. <laughs> So, you could say that I call the shots in my company. You know, I look at the big picture. Well, so, uh, by the way, have you seen my uh, Mom Long Pin? Do you have a 7 Series or one of those cute roadsters? Oh, which one do you like better? A roadster. That's the one I have. I find those cars very sexy. Uh. <laughs> a horse brand key on a BMW keychain. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I must have mixed up my car keys and my penthouse keys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, wait. <laughs> have you seen my, my, my Mont Blanc pen? We're not losers. We're yuppies. Don't go. Oh, you. You catch on this, I catch on you. Oh. <laughs> hey. But wait, wait. Have you seen my oh. Mont Blanc pen? Look. One wants to become a monk? Yeah. And this morning, you only drank one cup of grass and barley juice. That's normal, what? For Paul. <laughs> yeah. But he also started humming. Like this. Hum. 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 So irritating, huh? Hum. I'm a mosquito, like that. Hum. Stop it, like Dolly. Pause, now. Ayah, Dolly. He's just going through a phase. Your son just wants to do good deeds and be a better person. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> At least he'll be a good husband when he gets married. Mm. Hey, but moms don't get married, no? Huh? You mean? <sighs> My Paul's not gonna get married? Yeah. Are you okay? No. I must stop Paul from becoming a monk. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Pereira, on that interesting argument that caning should be mandatory for parking offences. Who's next? Okay, now, this is a hypothetical case involving a road accident. Wendy Ao Yong, Dennis Pang, you'll be prosecuting the driver. Denise Tan, Bruce Ko, you will speak for the defence, please. Um, <clears throat> Your Honour. Um, this is a case in which a woman, while trying to avoid an oncoming car, trips over a pothole and falls into a longgang, thereby injuring herself. Whose fault is it? Obviously the driver of the car. Shh, we are the defense. Uh, it's the fault of the pothole. I object! Uh, you've just started. What are you objecting to? With the prosecution, we're supposed to prosecute the driver. The driver's innocent. Ha! Yeah, the, the, the legal argument we would use here is that uh, the driver uh, is he, he's the pothole, and it's his fault that the woman got injured. Why are you turning on your co-counsel? I'm not a pothole. I'm not a woman. Yeah, according to Section 4A of the Road and Traffic Offences Act. Oh, is there no justice at all? Can the law be so blind? The driver was reckless. She's guilty. How do you know the driver was a woman? Uh, I object! Uh, what do you mean you object? You have no right fault. to object. No, it's his yeah, right. How do you drive? Stop! 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 Stop. 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 Let me commend you all on your vivid imagination. I have never seen such fine examples of fabrication of the evidence and bending of the truth. You'll all make really good lawyers. But for now, very bad students. I want you all to confer and come up with a 10,000 word essay on proper court procedures by tomorrow morning. Uh, Paul, hmm? can I talk to you? Uh, okay, ma'am, but you've only got a few minutes before sundown. So, uh, what happens after sundown? You turn into a pumpkin, eh? <laughs> no. 
the time from sundown to sunrise is the great silence. That's when I don't talk. I only meditate. Like this. Pa! Pa! Stop! What? Why are you humming? It's a form of meditation, Mum. It clears my head. Yeah, but it gives me a headache. It's good for my mental health. Mums do it all the time. But why must you? You can talk and be healthy and get married too. Mm. Huh? Hey, it's time. Excuse me, eh? Huh? Huh? Stop! Uh, I, I know. Uh, you, you should raise. Uh, how many syllables? Um, sounds like... Rosa, how? It's okay, lah, Dolly. Uh, uh, too bad Paul can't talk now. I have something to ask him about this vitamin. Rosa, what's wrong with your eye? Oh, good. I have something. A spoon. How about the... I have a plan. I'm overjoyed. There's nothing I'd rather do on a Friday night than sit in a library with you. Uh, what do you think of the... Oh, that's right. <laughs> Could you please move your fat elbows? Excuse me, fat elbows. Yes. Just move away. Shut up. Stop arguing. If you could drive and if you could cross the road properly, we wouldn't be here. I worked very hard and I'm not going to end up a broken, bitter lawyer in a small Chinatown firm because of you. I used to be class president. So shut up, both of you. Oh, shut yourself. Wow. So fierce. Huh? You should see her when it's the time of the month. Wendy, it's true or... Grace Judicata. That's right. How do you spell QC? <laughs> I'm sorry. Just please stop arguing so we can do some work. I'm sorry too. We won't argue anymore, promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. <laughs> you know, when you hit that lamppost, it was the funniest thing I ever saw. Better than a pro wrestling body slam. You watch pro wrestling too? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite? The big boss man. Have you seen him pulverize his opponents with his boss man slam? Please lah. No one can compare to the Undertaker and his pawn bearer. Rest in peace. <sighs> Finished. I'm going to eat. Oh, by the way, uh, don't seem quiet, quiet. Uh. The guy uh, is quite a genius. Hi! You must be a musician, because whenever I see you, I get beautiful music playing. <laughs> what, me? None of the babes are talking to me. It's like my school prop all over again. Patience, my friend. Patience. Look at those yuppies over there. What do they have that we don't? Better pick up lines? to talk to another stuffy, boring investment banker, I think I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. I'm so sick of hearing about their cars in the stock market. Why can't we meet a man who's different and exciting? Like a rock star or something. Yeah. Mike, our ship has landed. Did you know that vitamin E was named after Albert Einstein? He invented vitamin E, no? Hey, I also heard that 
that if you do not have enough vitamin A, you will get water in your brain. Wow, is it? I didn't know that. Hey, Rosna, if I do not have any more vitamin B12, can I take 12 vitamin B1 tablets? Can, there's no difference, right, Paul? No, yes, there's a difference. No, she can take... Can Dolly take all four take Mom. some? 12 B1 tablets is not the same as one B12 tablet. And Auntie Ross, Einstein did not invent vitamin E. And you don't get water in your brain from a lack of vitamin A. You're talking. Does that mean that you're not going to become a monk? Mom, I only said I was inspired by their lifestyles. Oh. But I don't think this is going to work for me. Honestly, how can anyone meditate in this house, huh? <laughs> yeah. I can have grandchildren. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, people, this one's on me. <laughs> Alright, free drinks. Selling the stuff. Me? Um, anyway, thanks, Bruce. Hey, nothing lah, just my way of saying friends? Friends. <laughs> no point arguing anymore, right? At least I didn't suffer any permanent facial damage. Hey, I'm still not admitting liability, yeah. <laughs> She always this paranoid and defensive. Oh, always! You should see her when it's that time of the month. Hey! So, are you really rock stars? <laughs> wow, I'm so impressed! Yeah, well, after we play this club, we're going on a world tour. No! You too? Catch up guys again. No, it's okay. They're musicians. They're with a the band. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Good. The band's supposed to be on now. Us? Come on. Now? <laughs> Go! Hey, isn't that the bozo from Bizet? <laughs> I can get no satisfaction. Satisfaction. Ronnie? Michael? What on earth are they doing up there? And I try, and I try, I can't get no. I can't get no. MediaCorp Studios production for Channel 5.